Have you ever been vaulted? Let me tell you, it's not very pleasant. It involves reinforcement of skeletal and muscle structures by shortwave irradiation and ozone layering to 0.23. Very painful. It can also knock out your memory. So some researcher came up with the idea to play word association games while they roast your tissue. Planet of origin. Sargatia. You're a Sargation. Some of us are. Some of us are what? Sardations. What is Sardatia? My home planet. I thought it was the home planet of the Finder movement. It is. What division are you, Abraxas? Forget the pain, Abraxas. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Easy for you to say. What division? Interplanetary ecology. No such division. That's my division. There's no such division, Abraxas. That's my division. Mission. Apprehend a renegade. Binders are required to renew their vows every hundred Earth years. I've renewed my vows about 90 times now. That's right. I've been on the force for almost 10,000 years. What is the law? To defend all life. What is the law? To be loyal to the vow of protection. What is the law? I will have no relationship before my obligations as a binder. Kick around as long as I have, and you're going to see it all sooner or later. Now they're sending me out to bring in Secundus, my ex-partner. He'd gone over the top. An occupational hazard for all binders. We see too much. We're around too long. Binders are the cops of the universe. Occasionally, one of us goes renegade. in process. We have a renegade. Who is it? Secundus. Secundus. Still after a co-mater. Yes. But now he's re-engineered his DNA coding and he's in the yellow star system. If he mates, the probability is that a co-mater will be born. I bet he's got skin like steel after his re-engineering. Have you sent a finder after him? Yes, I sent a Braxis. I used warp travel. You used warp travel? Must be some distance you're covering. What sector? RVS-034. It's a little planet further forth from the star in that area. Intelligence level? Tertiary. But very advanced technologically. We're barely ahead of them except for warp travel. And a few other things. Peaceful? Relatively. We've intervened twice. But basically, they're on the right path. Nice place. All right, I suppose. Never been there myself. The inhabitants call the place Earth. <laughs> nice name. Can Abraxas stop the renegade? We reinforced this skeletal structure. Vaulted it. T squared. Weren't Abraxas and Secundus partners? Ancient history height. Secundus turned bad a thousand years ago. You know that. You should not have sent Abraxas. Abraxas can handle it. He's brought Secundus in before. He knows the man. He knows how he operates. I suppose we'll see. Won't we? I know Secundus. I know what he's capable of. And I know what your problem is, I. You really can't stand being at an outpost. I should be at Command Central. Instead, I'm wasting my career at some godforsaken outpost at the edge of the known universe. Now I have a problem on a planet no one's ever heard of. Abraxas better take care of this.
Secundus and I went back a long way. We pulled each other through a lot of hard times. Abraxas cannot possibly understand my motives. He believes in right and wrong. The only thing that matters is power. The power to no longer be a victim of fate. What's the matter? Carl, stop it. Nothing has to be the matter with me just because I don't want you falling all over me. Come on, Tanya. Please. Mm -mm. What the? Oh, this is coming from the car. We're getting out of here. Start, start. Oh, Get the car started. Hurry. Oh. Get it started. Go, go, go. Hurry. Get out of there! Are you a birthing member of the human race? Huh? What happened to your face? I was vaulted, T-squared. Looks like they lined your skull with pastille. It's over. Right. I win. The girl will bear my child. And he will be the answer. Why? You had it all. An almost immortal lifespan. 
virtually unlimited power, almost, virtually, is not enough when I can have it all. The key is the birth of a co-mater. A co-mater will be able to compute the anti-life equation. That child will be a co-mater. Join me to stop me now. You have to kill the girl. I know you. You can't do that. Communication from command. Secundus will be transported to Penal Planet Tyrannus 7. A travel warp is operative. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I win. See you soon at Braxis. Stand clear. Travel warp is operative. Such an occurrence is sufficient to warrant the death of the woman and the child. Sonia, we want to help you, but this, this story, it's so hard to believe. I'm not asking you to believe me. I'd settle for some help. Well, why won't you tell us who the father is? I, uh, I know this sounds terrible, 
But I honestly don't know who the father is. Well, the only thing worse than protecting a delinquent father is not knowing who the father is. I have nothing to be ashamed of. If you want me to leave this house, I will. I want you to leave this house. County of birth? Simple. Town? Thornbury. Name? Mine? The baby's? Thomas. Thomas Murray. Name? Thomas. Got that. Give me yours. Sonia Murray. Father? Um... I'm the only parent. Come on, lady. What did you do? Find the kid in the parking lot? You want to register the kid? Okay. But how do I know this kid is yours, huh? You got one affidavit signed by yourself. Now, who's the father? I'm the mother. I'm the mother. since Tommy was born. Five years since that night. We have a nice, fairly regular life. Except that Tommy has never spoken. He's never made a sound. Sometimes, I have no idea what he's really thinking. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm getting you. I've so never told him what his father was. Gotcha. Hey. I love him so much. But I'm afraid that something terrible is going to happen to him. I don't know why, but I have this feeling that something will take him away from me. Forever. Physical reason, as far as they can see, why he shouldn't be talking. He's apparently capable of it. There's no hearing impairment. He's bright enough. He's five? Yep. He's big for five. Seen any other doctors about this? Yes, about a dozen or so over the years. Sonia, has there been any trauma in Tommy's life at all? When he was born, he he cried a little bit, but then he stopped. <clears throat> and since then, not a sound. Nothing. Nothing. This is Penal Planet Terrain 7. We confirm the escape of Secundus. Stand by, we will advise. How did he escape? We're not sure. Secundus would be irrelevant if you had eliminated the girl before she gave birth. None of us could be certain her child would possess the anti life equation. We're certain now. The readouts indicate the child is a co mater. The boy may be capable of unconsciously computing the anti life equation, and Secundus is capable of ripping it right out of his brain. Consciously, Hyde, the comator is still dormant. That will change. Secundus will see to it. You should have taken her life. That would have prevented this problem from arising. You could have executed Secundus. That would have prevented the problem. He was a finder of Raxus. Was. Now he's an uncontrollable malcontent. You should have terminated him. All finders are necessarily and understandably exempt from execution. It's operational mandate. My operational mandate does not allow execution of innocent women and children. Do you realize what you've done? Let me spell it out for you. The equation, Secundus could gain access to the anti-life universe. If he even attempts entry, a destructive force would be unleashed that would shatter worlds. I understand, but it still doesn't justify murder of an innocent victim. You've endangered the lives of millions of people for the sake of one woman and one child. I think you're over-dramatizing the situation, Hyde. I think not. Comaters are not legend. If travel warps could handle more than single entities, I would send a platoon down right now.
Can you latch me on to Secundus' warp? I think so. Another water landing? Has to be. You restrict the carbon-based H2O warps. The planet is 70% water. Abraxas, you must locate the co-meter and terminate it. Kill the child before Secundus. The decision to terminate is mine alone. Not in this case. I'll solve the problem my way. There's no time for this height. Let's pay weaponry a visit. Abraxas, you'll need some heavy artillery. Secundus hit a techno carrier after he escaped. Travel warps are like wormholes connecting different parts of the universe, kind of like a galactic subway system. They're a natural phenomenon that we've learned to use, sometimes successfully, sometimes not. What happened? I tried to run parallel with the of travel warp, and the streams crossed. Braxis will be stripped naked of his weaponry. Kite, he'll be lucky to survive. All they'll have left is their answer boxes. Readings indicate that Secundus' answer box is in low charge. He'll be forced to find a repower generation source immediately. That means that Braxis will have the upper hand initially. Better use it to terminate the Comator child. Tommy spotted? Yes. Is it uh, Mrs. Murray? No. You're single? Yes. How long has the father been gone? Since he was born. Has there been uh, any abuse in the family? No. How long has he not been speaking? All his life. Well, do you think maybe that uh, Tommy's acting out because his father isn't around and he's not speaking because he's angry? No. I think he's mute. Well, have you tried any, anything with him to get him to speak? I know here, when students are not paying attention or pretending they don't hear me, I try to catch them off guard. I go, ah! Gets a little response out of him. Have you tried anything like that? What are you getting at, Mr. Latimer? Well, Mrs. Murray, I'm sorry, but this is a normal school for normal children. My son is normal. He just needs special attention. He's getting special attention, all right, Mrs. Murray. His presence is causing a problem with the students. Frankly, they're, uh, time scares the piss out of them. And they act out. They push him, they, they call him names, they tease him, constantly. Why don't you just tell them to stop teasing him, to stop pushing him, to stop calling him all kinds of names? Have you ever thought of just telling them to stop it? No, I haven't. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll try that. I'll speak to the kids. I'll just, I'll just tell them directly. That's a good suggestion. I'm gonna try that. Something wrong happened in the travel warp. I was alive, but my weapons had been destroyed. Abraxas had to have suffered the same fate. In hand to hand, I could take him, but 
but first I had to recharge my ANZA box. Insufficiently charged to activate this vehicle. I'll give you the keys. I'm, I'm not going to give you my keys. What's your driving record? I've got quality insurance. It doesn't cover high risk drivers. Look, I'm willing to overlook this if you are. I could sue you for this, you know. Personal harassment. I'm a lawyer. I can mitigate. Give me the keys. <gasps> Grab the keys. You really ought to get an alarm system in here. <laughs> For what? To protect a few bags of organic oh, pasta? Geez, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Um, here, let me get those for you. This is a country store, Johnny. Dear. <laughs> um, drink your wheatgrass juice. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, I was wondering, Saturday, I mean, if you weren't, like, busier, Hey! Howdy, Johnny. How's the law in Dodge City? Hi, Maxie. Wait. Here. Bye. Stop. Stop! Could you please provide me with ground transportation? 
How's your girlfriend? I haven't asked her out yet. Well, why not, Johnny boy? You're the new kid in town. Probably just holding her breath. Uh, I've been busy, you know what I mean? Sounds like fear of failure to me. Yep, fear of failure. <laughs> Tell me a good man down. Well, I'm gonna grab me a coffee. Come on, I'll buy you one. Say hello to some of the locals. I'm on my way to town. I'm gonna report this to the local police. I am a police officer. Don't you think we should go to the local police? You don't look local to me. Perhaps you'd have some local clothing I could wear. Sensors indicate appropriate power source in this vicinity. is tantamount to magic. It would make me a god. Anything less is death. Charging my answer box. Whatever the hell that is, you sure picked the wrong place to do it. You're quite a big man. Big enough to take you, pal. Yes. Test for the anti life equation. Subject does not possess anti life equation. Testing will result in this corporation. Run the test. Warning. You failed. So what makes you think you can locate my 4x4? My box is VD, trust me. Your what? VD. Vibrational detection. Everything, even machinery, has its own particular vibrational frequency. We just can't read them. This device, my answer box, can read and locate anything it's made solid contact with. Then it must be able to pick up this guy as well. No. Members of our force were taught to avoid BD. Michael, grab a bunch of those old work clothes from the back and give them to the man. Boy's never gonna learn. Anybody belong to that poor excuse for a forklift out there? Needs a safety check. Talking now. It's mine. Got a problem with that? Uh, oh, Billy, yeah. Johnny here is just doing his job. He doesn't mean anything. Sheriff Sharp, under Section 217. Johnny, exactly Johnny, he longest. just takes the tractor from town to the farm. He never causes any I'm trouble. I'm trying to... I must locate the contents. Good luck. Johnny, boy, you got to learn the difference between the spirit of the law and the letter of the law. Sheriff, I think... Now, right now, you're trying to act and function on the letter of the law. Right? Now, this is a small town. We got no bad guys up here. You're the one who wanted to get out of the city up to a place where you could really make a difference. I didn't want to spend my the difference time. difference up here is you're a peace officer. Got it? With all due respect, Sheriff, I think peace officer is an antiquated concept. Huh? Listen, the police department today is in a constant state of siege. What are you talking about? Look around. Every corner, there's freaks, lunatics, terrorists. Those people are locals. We have to be prepared to defend ourselves. For what? Apple pickers? Sheriff, we got an emergency at Town Hall. They say some guys in there tearing the place up pretty good. On our way. No bad guys, huh? Secundus had the mother's name and would be looking for the location of the co-mater child. He had it pinpointed to this area, but that was basic logic. This was the terminal end of the travel war.
Officer, I'm in pursuit of this man. He's not armed. He can nail him. I don't think so. Do you want the girl to die? Tell them, Abraxas. They cannot change destiny. <laughs> Up against the wall. Give me your guns. Give me your guns, Johnny. You're right. The ah. deal has the pleasure ah. of taking it. Put your gun in my pocket. Follow me. She dies. Have a nice day. Hi, Sonia. Hi. Hey, you. Oh, I missed you. 
I missed you all day. Still want to go to the movie? Yeah? Okay. Go get a sweater. It's chilly outside. Do you mind if we stay here and watch your TV set while you're gone? No, fine. Whatever you want. Great, because ours has got all those squiggly lines and it you can't see nothing. Come on. There's uh, food in the refrigerator. Help yourself to anything you want. Don't forget your keys. Oh, no, I'm... Hi, Mr. Bellucci. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas, Tom. How are you doing, Tom? I'm a pirate king, saran, 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 saran. And it is, it is a glorious day. Oh, jeez. I don't believe it. I forgot my keys again. Do you believe it? Oh, what the heck. I guess Betty will still be up after the show. Taran, tara, taran, tara. You ready? For I am a pirate king, saran, 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 saran. Is she going to show up? The kid's a weasel. What the hell is he got to do with Derek? I know, I know. You've got your key again, right? The only people I can tell are my parents. When I tell them, they disown me. I don't even know the name of whatever it was that impregnated me. I think one of you space guys or whatever it is you are could have dropped me a note or something. You know, just to let me know that I'm not crazy. That this thing really did happen. Oh, no, that would be too much. You're probably too busy off saving the universe, right? Do you ever think about what I'm going through? Or how difficult it is making ends meet. Do you have any idea how much a two-bedroom house costs? You know, I just feel like I ought to... Ow! 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 What have you got in there, Steel? Last deal, to be correct. We really must leave. Why should I trust you? If I had wanted to hurt you, I could have done it years ago. You know that. We must go. Birthing members of the dominant species are highly protective of their offspring. 
find the mother and you will find the child. The Braxis is concentrating on his wound. I cannot locate. His shield is intact. Hey, yo! It's closed! Can't you read or what? I'm looking for a man. A woman. Women! Ah, oh, you're looking for women. Like exotic dancers. I'm not familiar with the term exotic dancer. Exotic dancers are birthing members of this species performing contemporary fertility rites. What the hell was that? That's my answer box. Hey, listen, pal. Ain't no exotic dancers here in these parts. Not in this town, anyways. Shame. Thank you. Hey, hey, watch it! Hey, Bob, that's my car! Tommy has entered an unconscious resting state. No, he hasn't. He's asleep. What is our destination? We're going to Maxie's. Is Maxie a man? Yes. Is this man a friend of yours? A, a good friend. He lives at Ganic Apples, which I buy from him. Is he a mating partner of yours? No, he's a good friend, but he's certainly not a mating partner. I understand. A non-conjugal relationship with a male member of your species. Yeah, that's what I said. Command issues a reminder that you are to terminate. What did you do that for? So that we can talk uninterrupted. It appears that Abraxas has shut down his answer box. That's three times he's failed to apprehend Secundus in a direct confrontational situation. Abraxas may be a little too aged for this assignment. He's had possession of the Comator for 147 parsecs and still hasn't terminated the... Parsecs are not an appropriate Earth time unit. Send somebody else down. I can't send somebody else down. We're still experiencing warp malfunction in that sector height. Back on audio, let me know. All right, now, Jack, what did he look like? Can you tell me what he looked like? He was big and mean and he had a beard. Did he say anything to you? Go and give me a test. What kind of a test? So I knew something. What could a kid like you possibly know that this guy would want? His wrist was talking. Well, maybe the blood samples will tell us something. I scraped some off the walls and had him queried down to the city. We'll get a fax report back in about an hour. And they all lived happily ever after. About this uh, Braxis character, what do you know about this guy anyway? I know more than I believe. Non-organic lettuce, it's just pesticide and water. Oh, for Christ's sake, lighten up, would you, White? You're falling in love with the Murray Brod, and now you're trying to get through by eating all the shit in the store. You never get involved with a suspect. You're not a suspect! What were those guys doing tearing up her place, huh? I think this thing is bigger than it seems. And I think it's gonna blow up in our faces. But I think we need outside help. With what? I got one guy responsible for it. Two counts of auto theft and three murders. And I can't even be sure the same guy did all three. We got fingerprints and an eyewitness identification. What more do you want? It ain't enough to be bringing the National Guard, the CIA, the grand jury, and God knows who else. Rosie, put this on my tail, would you? Come on. Sam. 
But one of the men began to grow unhappy. He was seeing so much and learning so much. He thought he found a way to become all-powerful. Soon, the only thing that mattered to him was himself and the power that he wanted. He was no longer a good man. Tommy? You should be in bed. Off you go now. How are you feeling? The healing rate is a control factor that one can manipulate at will. I'm feeling better. Much better, thank you. Well, maybe you can manipulate it at will, but I sure can't. You haven't tried. Water helps. It's a great healer. Well, I'm gonna take a shower. I'll let you know what happens. You never married after Tommy's birth. No. Are you married? No. People of my profession are not allowed to marry. Is uh, Tommy going to be all right? The anti-life equation could lie dormant in his mind for his entire life. Or it could be triggered off. What could trigger it off? Overloading his mind with fear and confusion. That's what Secundus will try to do. If he gets to the boy... But you won't let that happen. We won't let that happen. <laughs> Functioning in the vocal mode. Vocal mode is necessary to serve and protect you, Abraxas. You will speak when spoken to, or I will deactivate your vocal mode. Command has issued an order to terminate the Comator child. You are not to speak unless spoken to. The problem is not the child, it is Secundus. Two sets of prints found in the apartment match those in the vital statistics incident. But there's something weird. What do you mean, weird? Well, they have highly irregular patterns, like nothing we have on record. What about the blood in the wall at the Murray joint? You believe in extraterrestrials? <sighs> Spies, CIA, now ETs. Look, I believe I saw what I saw. More than that, I'll figure out as we go. Now, what about the blood? The blood doesn't read as human. Great. What's it read as? Goat? The chemical composition is like nothing the big city boys have ever seen before. It doesn't match up with any blood type they've ever heard of, animal or human. 
That's crazy. All right, so who do you think these guys are? Shriners? Before I gave birth to Tommy, you were going to kill me. You had orders to kill me. Why didn't you? You had done no wrong. You were an innocent, and you were brave. Your section. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. He's in the midsection. That's common territory. And besides, there's the murders in this town, and that guy looks like he could have done it. Any guy who just killed three people would not be sitting in here eating his breakfast. Well, I'm not going to go serve him. You go wait. Here's the menu. This I cannot eat. Uh, no, you, you just pick something. Very good. I will have that. So what did he order? He ordered the whole breakfast section. Did you check to see if you had money first? You ask him. No way. Uh-uh. Uh. So what do you do for Christmas? Well, I was going to go home and see my parents, but they don't like me very much. Sure they do. Anyways, i got a lot of work to catch up on around here. I'm going to stay in town. I'll clean my guns and something. Why don't you come to our place? Family dinner. What are you having? Turkey. Free range? I paid for it. So what makes you think these guys are staying at Max's? I drove past last night. That was parked outside. Get in the other room. The less people that know you're here, the better. Morning. Morning. This is Sheriff Sharp, and I'm Deputy White. John, I see you almost every day in my store. What are you introducing yourself for? Your apartment was vandalized last night, and we have reason to believe that the man who did it is also responsible for several killings in this area. We're concerned for your safety. I'll be all right. I'm not asking if you'll be all right. We're talking murder here. We think the killer may be after you. Look, Miss Murray. You're being pretty formal here, John. We believe that you know something. Now, maybe you're protecting somebody. I don't know. But whatever it is, we can help you. You can't do this alone. I'm not doing it alone, and you wouldn't believe me anyway. Why don't you try us? Miss Murray, you're in danger. I can protect you. We can protect you. Talk to me. Us. Let me think about it. Come on, guys. I'll see you out to your car. We have to get out of here. Running would just further disturb Tommy. I'm sure he's being affected by the turmoil already. And Secundus would just track you down. We'll take care of this right here. Oh. By taking care of Secundus. How are you going to do that? I've done it before. I'll do it again. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Thank you. 
that was pleasant. That was physical contact using an area of the human anatomy pressure sensitive, self moistening, and located close to the perceived source of thoughts and emotion. Your answer box sounds a little jealous. I am free from the bondage of emotion and do not suffer petty jealousies. Remember what I told you? Sorry. Haven't you ever kissed a woman before? No. You're kidding. No. That, you, good. That was really good. Abraxas. Who are you spoken to? I thought you should know that the collator child called Tommy has left this domicile. Dear Mom, I love you and Maxie, and I think Abraxas too. The bad man is after me. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I'm going away so he won't find me and you will be all right. I love you. We must find him. If he wanders too far, my answer box cannot cloak him. Will there be anything else? Those children, where are they going? To the school up the street. Do all the children from around here go to the same school? Yeah, it's the only one in the area. I see. What is this? The bill. Did I order this? Everyone gets one. Merry present. Comator still cloaked by Abraxas, but cloak weakening.
want to talk to Tommy alone. Perhaps I could drive back to Maxie's house in your car with Tommy. Is that okay with you, Tommy? different religions, different colors of skin. But basically, when we come straight down to it, we're all just people, aren't we? And that's what's really important. Can I help you? Bring me the co-mater. What? I said, bring me the co-mater, or I will kill all these children, one at a time. No. Mother told me you have a birthday coming up. You'll be six. I have a birthday soon. I'll be 11,862 next Tuesday. That's a little bit more than six, isn't it? I know why you won't speak, Tommy. You're afraid. Afraid of what you have inside you. Afraid of your power. And I know it's hard being different from all the other children. Sometimes life can be hard. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to. Don't do it now. He was just exercising compassion for the mother. He didn't want to do it in front of her. He wants the Kunda's height. No, no, he'll do it. I agree, but he'll do it his way. He can't do it his way. He can't take Secundus out. He knows what's necessary. He'll do it when the child is relaxed and unsuspecting. Make it a peaceful death. You're a good person, Tommy. You can learn to control your power. You can speak. of the perpetrator. What's going on here, Mike? Some lunatic burst into the classroom, grabbed me and... What is he? says he wants a coke coal co-mater. It's him. And he's the co-mater. I want him now. That's 30 seconds before I kill the children. Why are you doing this? What do you want? He's gonna start killing us. They're just kids! Send in the co-mater. The child called Tommy. 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 the anti-life equation. You are my son. You are the co-mater. Test the co-mater.
I knew what Secundus was going to do. Play cat and mouse with the boy. Tease him until fear and frustration had Tommy's mind bubbling like a pot of sargation oil. Cominer's energy is building. He's now capable of causing spontaneous combustion. How long before he hits critical mass? Very soon. I didn't know whether Tommy was going to blast me off the face of the planet or offer me a hand up. Tommy? Could go either way. Tommy? Tommy? 
someone else may try to exploit the co-mater. If that occurs, it will be dealt with then, Abraxas. It might be wise if Tommy were assigned a permanent finder. Command says your recommendation will be considered. Prepare for travel, Abraxas. I would be very interested in taking that assignment. Command says your desire will be considered. Now prepare for travel. Cannot leave. To refuse a transport order means to forfeit your finderhood. I know. Can I keep my answer box? I would be pleased to stay and watch over you, Sonia, and Tommy, if command permits it. We have a decision to make. The decision has already been made. I was wrong about Abraxas. Affirmative. We can stay. Hey, you got some explaining to do. You're a good man, Officer Sharp. This world needs good men. You really are some kind of off-world cop, aren't you? I'm terrestrial now. How am I gonna write this up in a report? I think you should scale it down to acceptable proportions. Why? You know, I think I'm gonna like living here. This planet's got a great deal. I like that guy. Uh, let's go. 
Coffee and donuts? Yeah. What do you call them? Secundus was zapped off into the universe, and I was on Earth for good. Earth. Nice name, isn't it? I'm really glad you're staying. Me too.